I will. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I reckon I enjoy turning this on and hearing me say, are we on? Are I we done on? 10 fortune. Uh, it's a good day. Good day to serve the Lord. God's been good, ain't he? Amen. 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 Uh, Why well, you not? Know, I'm glad the doctor visit with well. Oh, you didn't know I know about it, did you? I know the doc he went to, he went in and sat down and the doctor said, what's the matter, Wayne? He said, my hair is falling out. He said, can you give me anything to keep it in? I said, doc, what'd you do? He said, I gave him a brown paper bag. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Remember Joanne, she still can't put any weight on her foot. I've told you all that. She asked that we pray for her. And in the evening last night, uh, the pain gets so bad that, uh, uh, well, it just makes her cry. And uh, it goes to thobbing. And uh, so uh, uh, you pray the Lord to touch and help. And, uh, uh, of course, she wouldn't have it no other way except I come on down here. But uh, uh, half of me is only always here. And the other half still over there. So let's do Are You Washed in the Blood? Uh, Danny, Jean's husband, is not doing it. Uh, good at all. We did get to go by and talk to him. I'll tell you how the Lord works. We were supposed to be at a house and I called that guy uh, and he said, come on anytime. Well, I got there and, and I rung the doorbell. I knocked on three doors. I made two phone calls and he wouldn't come to the door. And uh, we said, we'll go have prayer with Danny. And the day before we went, he didn't know he, he was out of it. But today we went, he was alert and could talk to us and understood what we were trying to talk to him about. So see how God works. And all that was happening with that guy was he went back to sleep and he must have slept like me. That nothing could wake him up. But uh, do pray for Danny. The hospice has been called in. Uh, Gene needs your prayers. Uh, y'all, some of y'all been there. You know exactly where she's at. So pray for her and pray for uh, David, Joyce is having a lot of trouble with her shoulder. Joseph got to see them. So let's remember her. And let's keep praying for Dwayne and keep praying for Ruth and keep praying for the others that's uh, got cancer and different things. And uh, um, who was that you was telling me about? Uh, oh, uh, Connie's aunt. Connie's aunt has got uh, four stage cancer and needs our prayers today, and uh, there's much to pray about. Anyone got a request before we uh, go to the Lord in prayer? David? Dave, I've got a doctor appointment Friday to have a checkup on my heart, and let's pray about that. Amen. Leon's got to go to the kidney doctor. Got good reports from the other doctors. Amen. They told him he looked good, but it wasn't no room full of mirrors. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> And what, what about Charlotte? When, when are they going to do that? Uh, they don't know yet. It's getting mixed messages from one doctor to the other, and they had to decide what they're going to do. My goodness, that's the way it goes, ain't it? Lord, help us. <laughs> I won't make no comment there. Uh, Brett? I, 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 well, I know what he was talking about, but I, but I sure would have liked to turn that around, but I won't. All right. All right. Remember, Tia, she's got some going on with her enzymes too high. Or... Yeah, she's got to come home. Uh, Dwayne Hardgrave's got to come home, so let's be, that's good. That's her answer to prayer right there. We do praise the Lord for that. All right. But I mean, he's still, I, that was just because he, he got real bad. And uh, his blood count was down to nothing. And all this happened. He still got to take all those treatments and uh, then have a stem transplant. I believe is what they call it. He still got all of that. And uh, so do much in prayer. And uh, Ruth is working and I think she's got either 20 or 30 more chemo treatments to take uh, 
be praying for Kylie. The Lord blessed and touched and answered prayer there. And so let's keep praying one for another. She's still hurting in her side. In fact, that's what got her to go to the doctor when they said she had cancer to start with. Well, through all this, her pain in her side and her back's got worse. But nobody's listening to her about checking that out. So we're asking everybody to pray that uh, God will heal or that he'll help her get to the right doctor who will do something one or the way or the other. Amen. Well, let's go to the Lord in prayer, folks, and pray. There are so many people not here tonight, but ain't you glad you are? Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you gave us this day, and Lord, that the doors of your house is open, and Lord, that the invitation is given to whosoever will to come and hear the good word of God and have faith to believe and trust and ask you to save them, God. And I do pray for that soul that's nearest eternity, Lord, that's lost, that they might realize that there is a Savior who loves them enough that you'll save them, even God as close to death as they are, that you'll still save them. And Lord, touch them, I pray. Touch these with cancer and touch these that are with pain and suffering. Touch Joanne, God. And Lord, we pray for all these others, Lord. We bring them to you humbly today. I ask that you might just minister and let thy power be upon them. Strengthen our own bodies tonight, God. We do pray and let thy will be done in all things today. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Are you washed in the blood? Are you? How have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusted in His grace this hour? You washed in the blood of the Lamb. Well, are you washed in the blood? In the soul with the blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, white as Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the bruise of life? Washed in the blood of the Lamb? Will I walk in the blood? In the blood of man, all your garments are this of the white as snow. You are the blood of man, boy. Be washed in the blood of the Lamb. There's a fountain of glory for the soul of the Lamb. Be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Be like you are in the blood. In the soul, in the blood of the Lamb. All your garments are this of the white. Be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Sing it. Be like you are. In the blood, in the soul, in the blood of the Lamb, all your garments are the sun and white as snow. You wash in the blood of the Lamb. Hey Amen. Ain't God good to us today? He is as sick tonight, so let's pray for him and pray the Lord to touch him in hell. Where are you going? Okay. What does that shirt say? I'm a bad influence on who? There you go. Uh, <laughs> what are you going to do? Nothing? All right. Let's do I saw the light walk away from nothing and get here, okay? All right. Here we go. We I saw
song like that. Amen. Congregation song in the Bible. You sing it in that day? Huh? Are you saying if you sing tonight, then we have to go get our heart checked? Huh? Right. Well, um, God aggravate David, and uh, he expects it, and we appreciate him today. Appreciate all of y'all. Um, Kenneth, you gone? Come on. Come on, do it. I thought you was. Yeah, he said, I'm thinking about it. But I reckon his brain went on the hike and forgot his way back. Amen. He's going to sing. He's going to do one of the old timey songs there. Maybe not tonight, but we're, we're going to get him. Amen. Still working on Charles. Uh, amen. It's a work in progress, but we're still working. Hey, who knows? Amen. I appreciate these guys uh, being with, uh, down at the rest home and, uh, and Joe and giving those folks at the rest home uh, something to, uh, to hear and to praise the Lord about. Ain't you glad? Uh, I'm sure they were happy to have people down there. So you pray the Lord to touch and help me. All right, Wayne, come on. I'm sorry. Uh, I guess you ain't got just bad high. Mm -hmm. How about that? No worries. What? Oh, Lord, my God. people are just more and more openly 
proud that they're sinning, proud that they're doing wrong, don't seem to care. You know, there's somebody driving down the road with the yesterday and they was just flaring and screaming at the top of their lungs as I was getting out to go get me a sandwich. Uh, Highway to Hell was the name of the song. And I know some of y'all have heard it. And that, they was just a blaring and just as loud. And they looked at me and they was just saying, I said, yeah, you're liable to get there too if you ain't careful. Uh, you know, people are, they just don't realize what they're doing. I mean, if they realized how real of a place hell is, uh, they wouldn't mock it. I mean, I remember a time that I was living uh, the way I shouldn't be, and then I said things that I didn't, and now I would have to go back and say, really, hey, you was once that way. But people are just so open about what they do. They just don't care. We need to be praying for this nation. They need to be praying for our families, for this community, because uh, there's too many people that's caring too little much. Amen. I may not have said that exactly right, but uh, it's close enough. I don't know what key on this song, so we'll just have to try it indeed and go for it. When they make a handful of stars, where the soldiers had fallen, he waited on the with a prayer and a little rock to try to fail right on the spot. That's what they prayed for, that's what they Yes, baby, you can't go 
take away the pain Make the sun shine still rain Yes, play the infant the same And all I've got to do is just call his name Yes, all I've got to do is believe his name Ain't that the truth? Amen. Amen. God can do the changing, can't he? We sure can't, and I'm glad God can. So you pray for us today, and uh, pray the Lord will bless and help us, and uh, just thank the Lord for another day. God has helped us through so much, and uh, that's what we do. And life sometimes throws some pretty hard punches, uh, but we just have to just keep on going for the Lord. And uh, God's always there. He's never left us alone. Maybe Elf. Let's see. Now let's do it in key E. That's for effort. A penny for your faults, I said to the old man. As he sat there on the carpet, all alone. With withered hands. Eagle brows and eyes to the wind. Instead, I just said, Thank you, about my own. I sat down and we shared some glass together. At the center box of remembrance, it was more. But hopefully he just called the dog's home. Instead, I'm thinking about home. Thinking about going home. Thinking about leaving you. And he took me moving home. It won't be long. Tell me, old man, where's your home and what's it like? He said, oh, there's nothing around here and to compare. He said, if he had it built, I'd give the keys to me. And all of my family's already
She'd always ask for that song. And she'd raise her little hand and she'd just always say uh, that, you know, my miracle's coming. But well, one day, not long after I saw her and sung that song, her miracle came and she went on home. See, I don't think for one minute she was waiting for a healing in this life. She had lived a life long enough that she was looking for that healing to come. She was ready to go home. God sends miracles in both ways. He sends healings here on this life where we can testify and glorify Him for what He's done. But there comes a time that God says, I'm calling you on home. I'm so thankful for God's love and His power. And he don't forsake us. The devil wants you to think that God don't care about you. 
God, uh, God loves you. The devil wants you to think that you are worthless, that, that you ain't worth God's time. But I'm here to tell you something. You are precious to God. Amen. If, if you weren't precious to God, then He wouldn't have sent His Son to die for you. Amen. Amen. Jesus wouldn't have laid down His life for you if you didn't mean something. Amen. He cares when you are suffering. He cares when you go through battles. He cares. Peter told us to cast it. said, casting all your cares upon Him because He cared for you. Jesus cares. God cares. You are not alone. Thank God for it. No, it may seem like it. So it may seem like we're defeated. We are not defeated. We are more than conquerors through who? Jesus Christ, our Lord, right? Through Him alone is the victory. But we have victory through Him, amen. We should never put Him as a last resort, but He should be put as, uh, as the first resort. Amen. I don't know what He's going to bring, but all I know to do is to ask Him and to trust Him. And the Bible tells me, and I know it from experience, that He is faithful. And that He will never leave us, nor forsake us. Amen. Sometimes things don't come the way I think they should. Sometimes I pray and pray and things don't happen immediately. But I'm not God. But I know one thing. He will not leave me alone. Amen. And Amen. He will not give up on me. Praise the Lord. Just like I'm doing my best. I ask Him every day, Lord, help me not to fail you. You've never gave up on me and I don't want to lay down on you. Amen. Amen. Praise His name. Thank the Lord for Amen. Maybe you're going through some valleys here tonight or struggles. We all are. We all face things in this life that uh, take a wear and a tear on you. But uh, there's there's still a God in heaven that loves Amen. you tonight. Amen. And beyond a shadow of a doubt, He does care about you. Let the Lord lead you home. Be you sad and broken heart Trying to calm the raging in my mind It's her job many answers A bold soldier's foot Seem to fly in your 
says those uh, who's been uh, it talks about those who have been forgiven much. You know, those that have forgiven been forgiven more have a deeper appreciation because of how far they've come from than those that uh, haven't drifted as far. But everybody should have a deep appreciation. Amen. For Jesus loving you 
Amen. I heard somebody say, oh, I don't ever give my testimony because my testimony's boring. I said, how can your testimony be boring? Amen. Jesus saved your soul. You was right sitting on the way to hell. How can your testimony be boring? Amen. You shouldn't have to give somebody else and say what they did for them. You should be able to say, Lord, save me. <laughs> God save me. If you can't say God save me, Amen. then I don't guess it is. Amen. Right? Amen. Amen. I'm not I'm not testifying to, to please nobody else. Amen. I don't care whether they think my testimony is boring or not. I'm not testifying for their approval. Are y'all? Amen. 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 I'm just testifying that I love the Lord and God loves me and we're a team. You know that? Amen. We're a team. Amen. And uh, as Joe said, I, I fail the Lord. Every day of my life, I fail God. But uh, he's there. Amen. He's not my crutch. No, he's my leader. Amen. Amen. He's my leader. Amen. And I praise the Lord for that today. Amen. You got somebody else? Why? You go right. Go ahead, Dave. I appreciate the Lord how much He saved me. Amen. About this time last year, last year, I was in the hospital. We had that throat. And He bought me out of it. And I love Him. I thank Him. Amen. Praise God. Ain't you glad they can't keep God out of the hospital? Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. Ain't that something? He still goes on the COVID ward. What about that? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Marches into the uh, uh, to the operating room. <laughs> he stands by our side. I, I tell you, uh, God is so good. Maybe you want to testify to this one. Amen. Well, who's that man with a cross on his shoulder? Bending down. Beneath the pillow Is there no one To relieve him Of his burden To help him walk That long Dusty road Is he bleeding? Is he crying? Struggling back to climb Calvary's hill. They were mocking his precious money as he cast in rocks now. The earth is darkened, the leaves now stand still. They're building his precious body to the cross. Is that a soldier? I see piercing his side. I hear him asking, Oh, please, please forgive him. Oh, this is God's son of the world for who should Somebody else wanna wanna say something for the Lord? I, this is your service tonight. Go ahead, hey, Captain. Go ahead. I remember, you know, you always talk about you remember the day you got saved, just hanging on to the back of the beach. 
Amen. Amen. I just tell you, I can tell you where I was sitting at the day it happened. What about November it? November the 10th, uh, back in uh, November the 7th, 2010. And, uh, you know, the preacher told my brother in law, he said, Sing just as I am. And he did. <laughs> and the devil said, I'll hang on and be the whole with this man. Come on now. Well, then he said, Sing another verse. The devil said, I just hang on and be over with a minute. Then he said, sing another word. And I just let go. And after that, it was just me and God. You know? What about that? Amen. Amen. Praise his name. You know, people have known me back then compared to now. You know, because there wasn't nothing I wouldn't do or, or nothing I wouldn't try. Or, but God saved my soul. Amen. Amen. My soul. Praise his name. You know, just keep praying. What a difference, God. Well, makes. That's the most Hey, Amen. Amen. That's what I want to be. It's Kathy Noah. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for saving my soul. I'm, I'm worried these days. Yeah. Amen. Thank the Lord for saving my soul. I thank you for being with me in this valley I'm going through. Yes. God bless you, Kathy. Bless you. God bless you, Kathy. Amen. Amen. Testifying on here, Linda said, Thank you, Lord, for loving me. Connie said, I love the Lord, and thank you for saving me. And Mary said, The Lord has been so good to me, and she loves her Lord. Amen. And, uh, and then uh, Connie asked if you could do the welcome home. Maybe in a minute we'll see what we can do. Amen. As they gambled for the road she bore. Those were Didn't think of eternity. I was over. Be 
testifying online they can testify we if we get we'll read them uh, i'm glad people are are getting a blessing you know out of out of this service this is not the kind of service some people like uh but i like anything god's in <laughs> well i just tell you i love the lord amen there's a day you just die and run I know we'll surely come. The eastern sky will open wide, revealing God's own sun. I know from here to heaven, but a wailing of an eye, and the midst of all His glory.
got something to say for the Lord. Amen. Go ahead, I thank the Lord tonight. I want y'all to pray for my family. Pray for us that we will keep on trying. Amen. God, now we know how hard it is. You got lost loved ones that don't care. Amen. Amen. God, pray for us. God bless you. Yes. Amen. Yes, I'll tell you, the lost has never been more more satisfied in being that way than they are today. Sin is so blatant. And people today, uh, they mock you, but, you know, they mock Jesus. They mock Jesus. And uh, they laugh at us, but they laughed at him. And look where he is. And look where you're going to be one day after a while. The revival was over. He was the last one to leave. Walked to his car, running in the dark, and he took out his keys. I got it back. His old ragged Bible, he placed on the seat by his side. He prayed that loud to the Lord, started to cry.
If you ain't, I'm just going to sing till I feel like I'm done and just, and, and just call it quits. Amen. Amen. How about y'all out there? Y'all got anything you want to sing? Oh, I'm sorry, Ashley. I, 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 go ahead. Just speak up. Amen. Salvation that Jesus offers us. And I'm just thankful. Hey, Amen. I'm sorry I had you standing so long. But you younger than I am, I've been standing long. Hey, ain't God good? Amen. How many of y'all love him? Hey, Amen. 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 What about me? What happened to that bridge? I used to be so strong What happened to the singer he used to sing our song Oh, how the preacher said the hamlet The singer singing country Oh, he sold out what's right What is wrong What happened to the church Used to be on fire. What happened to all the voices? They just sang in that heavenly fire. Well, the church is down on the cold. The voices are silent because nobody goes. They sold out to the world and gone desire. This heart belongs to Jesus. Father, save my this heart belongs to Jesus, and this heart, this heart, I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. No way to hide. Well, a man from California called a few months ago. Boy, we found a few. Thanks for the offer, it sure sounds well. But I belong to Jesus and my heart's not for sale. I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. No way to hide. If you're living for Jesus, they'll come and die. The devil's going to try to get you some way. He'll try to get you with his lies to pale. Say, I belong to Jesus. I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. Can you say that? I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. No way to hide. I belong to the man of God. He purchased me with his precious blood. I don't need popularity. I'd rather have what he gives me. I belong to the king. He gave my hope, my joy, my everything. Belong to God Almighty. I belong to the one who gave me life. He, I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. Somehow soul conviction compromise. Soul the truth for a pack of life. Soul testimony for fortune and fame. I just want to glorify his name. I'm a not for sale. This heart belongs to Jesus. I'll be saved my soul from hell. This heart belongs to Jesus. This heart. It's not for sale. It's not for sale. I'm not for sale. I'm not for sale. Don't be no bad. Hey, Amen. Ain't you glad of that? 
favorable. Not for sale. Amen. You know, the devil will try to get you to, to sell out. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm just not. Um, I, had a, I had a call today. and um, You know, it was from a guy in Atlanta, uh, an insurance guy. And I used to sound like a pretty nice fellow. But uh, he wanted to hire me uh, to write up a uh, report about a place we had looked at. And uh, I, I really got acquainted and lo love these people. And I, I said, I said I'm not going to become no rock and a hard place between them. I said, I'm just not going to do that. I'm sorry. I'm not for sale. I'm just, I'm rambling on. Go ahead. Okay. Amen. I just want to stand up and say that I love the Lord. And, uh, Amen. I'm blessed every day. Uh, you save my soul from hell. Amen. 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 And I'm not for sale. <laughs> There's a lot of people out there that it doesn't take much for them to be failed. You're right. And, and it's heartbreaking, and I have a lot of lost loved ones that uh, try to talk to them about the Lord, and they tell me not to worry about their soul. God bless you, Kathy. And I can't help but worry about That's them. right. That's right. And That's I have a lot of lost loved ones that they just don't believe that, I guess, they think everybody goes to heaven. They just don't understand. That's right. That's right. Saved, That's right. That's right. And I don't want anybody to go. Amen. Amen. Pray for me that I can be strong and I can talk to them. And, God bless you. And explain them to, to realize there is a hell. Yes. And there is a judgment. Yes. And we all stand before it. God bless your heart. God bless you, Kathy. You're absolutely right. People today don't think that... Uh, that there is a, a, a an end that they're going to give any kind of account. Everybody's being taught they go to heaven no matter how they live. Preachers don't preach on sin. Churches today don't don't it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, as I've said before, there used to be a time that uh, the church was so important in people's life, and the church stood so strong on the Bible that you had to prove yourself worthy to become the member of the church. Now people want the church to prove itself worthy to be their church. Are you listening? Amen. Amen. God don't owe me nothing. Go ahead. Brent and I love the Lord, and this is a sanctuary here for us. It gets us through every day. We look forward to coming and listening and learning and seeing all y'all, and it's a good family to have. Amen. We feel the same way about you. Amen. I'm glad to be a part of this family. Ain't y'all? Amen. Amen. I tell you, I, I, I just thank the Lord for his goodness. Anyone else? Wait, we're going to do one more song if, if the Lord don't change nothing. Are you glad? I'll just think about John 3, 16. Amen. 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 You know, uh, Randy, if that was the only verse that was ever written, we could preach from now until the Lord comes. Amen. John 3, 16. Could we not? For God so loved the world. I always like to say, and I'm not trying to add to it, take away because I am... Uh, the world means me. For God so loved me that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed him. When I believed him, God gave me everlasting life. Ain't you glad? Ain't you glad? You know, ain't you glad that you didn't have to prove anything to God? He already knew what you was, but he saved you anyway. Amen. 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 He knew I was wretched and vile. Amen. I'm, I'm glad. I had a choice. God didn't force me to be saved. I wanted to be, and I'm still, I'm still glad I did. Ain't you? Amen. 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 Mm. Anything else before we change the service? Are you glad you come? Amen. Would you come again if you knew this was out? Amen. 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 The disciples gathered in the upper room that day to await the spirit that was coming down. I 
Uh, till Sunday morning at 7 o'clock, if it be the Lord's will. I've uh, got a, a